With over 600 teachers now sharing lessons in the collective, many teachers have been asking for a refresher on how to bring resources into their own course. Here's how. To get into the collective, just click on the Lessons button. What you're going to see is a lot of different lessons from all different grade levels. Make sure you have the grade level that you teach selected and unselect all the others. Now you're going to see lessons from all the different teachers at your grade level sorted by popularity. So on top, you're going to see some featured lessons, opinion writing, the 100th day of school, would you rather? And then you're going to start to see lessons that other teachers have been copying recently. If you're interested in a particular lesson, you can say, oh, I want to click on this card, this plus button here to see this card. That looks neat. I want to click on this plus button here. You can also see all the cards in the lesson by clicking more cards. Now let's say there are some cards you want to bring into your course. Just go ahead and click on the cards you want to bring over and press copy. If you want, you can also select all the cards in the lesson by clicking select all and copy. Now all I want, really want is the first three cards, maybe the first four cards here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to press copy four cards. I'm going to close. And then I can go to any lesson I want in my course, click the press plus button, and then click paste. Boom, here are the cards. That's it. Here's a few more things. Um, if you don't want to copy things right away, but you do want to save a lesson for later, just go ahead and click on this bookmark button. The reason why this is good to do is that lessons will disappear from the collective after a few days. And so if you want to keep them around, bookmarking them is a really good thing to do. Once you've bookmarked the lessons, you, you can see that they will appear in this bookmark tab forever. So you don't need to copy things right away. You can just be browsing through the collective, bookmarking things that you want to save for later as your own resource. The last thing is this button here, if you don't care about popularity, you just want to see the most recent lessons that teachers have been making, you can click on this chronological button and it will just show you the most recent lessons. That's it. Hope this is helpful.